When you receive a wrap pill, before you do anything, you have to remove the insulating tape from the battery contacts and there's a good procedure to do it and a not so great one. So you start by removing the printed circuit board out of the housing and you will see or you may not see but it will be there some blue tape that is stopping the battery from closing the circuit in the circuit board. That's for safety when shipping. Now there's a good and a bad way to remove the battery because these battery docks are not super strong. I mean you couldn't suspend yourself off a crane uh, with that glued to your head. It would let go. So there's a good way and a bad way to remove the, these batteries and the best way that I can think of is say with one hand grab the front and back of the dock and then with your other finger take the battery, I'm on the positive end here with my finger, push it back toward you and then lift up while you're pushing and then that doesn't tend to want to pull the dock off of the circuit board. Now you'll find some blue pieces of tape on each end. You can remove it and then reinsert the battery the reverse of what you did and that should ensure that you don't end up accidentally separating the battery dock from the circuit board. Now we're going to look at what to do if your battery dock does end up becoming separated from the circuit board. This one is a new one that was sent back to me by a client who had that happen to him. And as you can see here, here's the circuit board. Here's the contact points where the battery dock makes connection with the circuit board. And um, then your polarity must be observed. You can see here, it's nice that on the circuit board they have the positive and the negative noted. And on all these 18650 cells, you'll notice that there is a nipple and that's always the positive end and on this particular cell and probably because this is the Eve battery that Kagland puts in all these wrap pills the positive end is also marked and the negative end and so you need to observe that polarity when you are going to do the fix for this. Look inside the cradle on the uh, lateral part of the housing there you can see down in here, maybe you can't see it, but um, I can see there's a positive and a negative on the starboard side of this dock, which is the right hand side, when it's facing away from me in that direction with that tab toward me and that smaller tab away from me. And that's, again, the nipple there so the positive end goes into that cradle that way and then on the circuit board we are going to be remounting this dock with the positive end there and the negative end there that's going to ensure that we get the correct, correct polarity with that battery cradle dock on the circuit board so now we're going to have a look at the process to reattach this this procedure is going to require some soldering skills and so if those are not part of your remit um, you probably know somebody or can find somebody that can do this job for you and then you can just refer them at, to this timestamp in this video and uh, then we're all on the same page. So I'm going to start with some soldering flux and what I'm going to do is apply it to the contact points where this cradle makes contact with the circuit board and um, this is the first time I'm doing this by the way so I'm kind of learning as I go here and some of these procedures I might find a better way to do them for that and uh, now that I've done that I'm going to remove the battery before I undertake any soldering because lithium ion cobalt chemistry does not like heat so 
that's why you have to spot weld these cells and you can't solder them when you're making up a battery pack. Uh, that's just a little aside for anyone that may be interested. Next we're going to tin all these points that are going to be in contact with each other starting with the easiest one and then working through. So there's four contact points that we're going to be using and I'll come back with a fast forward on that um, once my soldering tip is heated up to the sufficient temperature. By the way when you're tinning uh, the solder pads on this circuit board to make it easier when you're going to connect the cradle try to be sure that um, you get your solder right out to the outer edges of each one of these pads so toward the outside because when we want to solder this on it's going to require solder to be at those locations Next, you're going to take the cradle and observe the proper polarity, which is the positive is over here on what is my left hand. And you're going to align it so that you're going to be able to access both those solder pads and get at them, which is a fairly tight fit. And once you've got it aligned like that, the next part is then to complete the uh, solder connections onto the pads and we will fast forward through that process as well. And uh, what I found to work better was the positive end of this cradle the solder pad is recessed on it so I found that it worked better I just took a strip of carbon felt to help protect my fingers from the heat you could use an oven mitt or any other suitable insulating material or you could even clamp this down and then what I did was upended it and inserted the tip of my solder station here into the positive end until the solder in there melted and then um, seated itself and I can see liquid solder there now even as I pull it out so I'm going to leave it there give it a chance to solidify and then I will test the connection when you think you have it uh, well seated just by doing a finger test by tugging on it back and forth it seems to be pretty solid now we can reinsert the battery now the easiest way to test our work once we have replaced the battery very gently um, as a reverse of the procedure for taking it out take your USB-C charging cord and plug it in and once it's plugged in if we see these lights going then um, it looks like we are also charging it right now and uh, you'll notice the insulating tape is still off the battery and uh, now what I would do would be let it run through the full charge cycle and do not forget to recalibrate because you might have altered um, a little bit in terms of the weight balance when that cradle went back on and try your best to keep it centered right within the guidelines as close as possible so I think that now represents a, a pill that has been repaired and um, you should be back up and running if this has happened to you.